Welcome to The Global Pulse, a short video series where our experts break down a trending topic in international business and why it matters to you. In the various analysis of the economic implications of COVID-19, one of the most frequently repeated claims has been that this dreadful pandemic has ushered in an end uh, to the century-long era of globalization. In my view, this perspective is utterly wrong. Globalization, simply put, refers to connectedness among nations. It is a multidimensional construct, even in the economic domain. It refers to flows of physical goods, movement of services, movement of capital, sharing of ideas, sharing of engineering blueprints, or simple collaboration among scientists. According to World Bank data, trade in physical goods already peaked in 2009 and has been in decline ever since when adjusted for the size of world GDP. The underlying factors are secular. They have to do with end of the commodities boom, decline in the demand and prices of oil, and rising automation, which reduces the need for arbitrage in labor costs. So therefore, the old era of globalization, which dominated economic thinking for 100 years, which is trade in physical goods, that's already yesterday's story. The new story is the rise of digital globalization. According to McKinsey's analysis, cross-border flows of data have been growing at 50% per year for the last 15 years. More importantly, they now contribute more to global GDP than actually trade in physical goods. So we should not bemoan the end of the old globalization. We should celebrate the rise of the new digital globalization. This new digital globalization is playing out in five different ways. Number one, simply communication among people dispersed across nations. Number two, collaboration among scientists spread in various universities and labs around the world. Number three is consolidation within every industry accelerated by COVID-19. So that as within industries, the big companies survive and become stronger at the expense of the small and medium size, the big companies are fundamentally more global. Number four, data is the new oil. So the old era of globalization was defined, dominated by companies such as ExxonMobil in energy, oil, gas. The new era of globalization is dominated by companies such as Apple, Amazon, Facebook, Google, Netflix, and the like. So that's number four. And number five, is that companies such as Tesla that are global, multinational, but that produce locally or regionally what they sell locally or regionally. And what transpires in terms of the flows inside the company is actually movement of technology, of blueprints, of ideas. Uh, and then by automation, by 3D printing and so on, what's produced and sold is local for local. So to sum up, we should not bemoan the end of the old globalization. Let's join and celebrate the rise of the new digital globalization.